Chuckles for the franchise, guys. Congratulations, episode number, what, 57 of our MLB The Show 20. Really the show featuring Chance Bishop. Starts himself off playing against the Milwaukee Brewers. That's Gavin Lux right there for the Brewers. We have Aaron Nola for the Phillies. Or for the, I guess, of the Phillies. Now with the Yankees. But, top of the first and 3-1 count. Chance going to lazily fly that one out to the right fielder right there. Not a great swing with the 3-1 count. In the field right now, last episode became the full-time first baseman. Now Chance is going to find himself just getting some routine plays at first base right now. Showing that Chance is, uh, by far... A great defensive first base. And that's what people are saying about why he wasn't a good, uh, why should be the catcher because he wasn't a good defensive first baseman. I mean, these plays over here showing otherwise. Look at that. Playing the big hop right there. Gets the out. You love to see that. You love it when Chance Bishop makes the routine plays. Drives all of the ladies crazy in the stands. But. For some reason, Chance thought, hey, I'm going to go grab that bull right shortstop, doesn't matter, gets back to first in time. So, Chance now up again, sends that one oppo, but it's going to be a lazy fly out to the left fielder this time, so we're sure a center fielder of the lazy fly out to all three out field positions for Chance Bishop, just to complete that trifecta right there. Bottom four, more defensive Chance Bishop right here. Yeah, I love it when just a defensive episode. Just nothing but defense this episode. That's all we're going to do. We're going to have all this great defensive play. Nothing else. But. Hey. Well, I mean, who's going to complain much? Chase Bishop, though, on the top of the six. Going to get that one in the gap right there. It's going to fall. Land in between the center fielder and the right fielder. For a one out double. It's always big, though, to get your first hit of the game. But back in the field, down by three runs. At least we know Chance Bishop, a, a defensive error from Chance Bishop, isn't the reason. I mean, a little mental gap right there. Doesn't stand on the bag. But hey, he eventually gets there for the first out. Now another routine play to Chance. He's going to range to his right. He's going to pick it, fire over to the pitcher. And then again, assist right there. Apparently get two assists in the next three games. Okay, it's a strange one as Josh Hader's going to strike out Chance Bishop. He's on the eighth inning for some reason. Edibray Ramos from a Phillies pitcher now on the mound for the Yankees. So a bunch of Phillies pitchers, it looks like. But Chance Bishop, there you go. Picks that one from the dirt. So good defensive stop by Chance as he is going to get himself another at bat in game number two. His first at bat of this game. That's going to be a fly out to left field. Now, in the field, trying to show some defensive prowess. Maybe get another assist or something like that. That's going to be a grounder to the shortstop. But Chance gets to first base in time. Makes a nice easy catch for the first base. I guess, I don't know, A out. Top of the third inning, Chance Bishop. Knows he got into that one. Sky that one to short center field. And that one's going to fall right in that center field glove for and out. Top of the fifth, Chance Bishop holds up right there. That's going to be a two-out walk. Gets two men on base now. One in scoring position. As Jensen right there is rocking some real old school glasses. Bottom six now. Two outs, two two counts. A chopping bunt. Okay, Chance. Flip to the pitcher. In time, shot's complete. There's your plus to arm strength. That's your two assists that wanted for the entire series. Okay, what a strange turn of events that one was. It's like, hey, get some hits. You know, bunt, don't strike out. Don't do this. Get like six RBIs, hit two home runs. This was get two assists. That was one of the stranger ones I've ever seen. But take on Zach Brown. Now top nine for up by two. It's going to be a chopper to the second baseman over the first in time. Four out number one. Now moving this season, I guess this episode, over to Oakland. Rookie Davis on the mound in this series to open it up. Chopper to the second baseman. Chance gets the first. Nice throw to the chest right there. And it's going to be out number two of the inning. Good old second baseman making routine plays. Jack Flaherty on the mound for the Athletics as Chance Bishop does not miss this one. It's a rainy day here in New York. But Chance Bishop gets all that one. His 16th on the season. Or is that 18? I think it's his 18th on the season. 
boy, he hit so many home runs that I thought it was two less than what he already had. But 49 feet, 108.7 off that bat. I mean, he hit a 409, he hit a 109. I mean, he likes those nines. But 18th bomb of the season, four chance because that was that short porch in right field. Everyone knew it was gone, including the pitcher who did a little spin. Second deck shot right there, sent a fan home a lucky souvenir. Look at that, Jack Flaherty just turn around and watch it, how bad he knew it was. Top of the second in the field. Here we go. It's going to be a chopper to the pitcher right there. Chance Bishop was frozen right there. I guess he thought it was on the line, but no. He's going to get there in time. Tag first base. Gets the first out of the second inning. Top of the third. There's a runner on second base with two outs, though. Chance Bishop, he's got it, though. As that's going to get grounded to the shortstop. He's going to fire. Backhand pick out of the dirt by chance. Is that going to be out number three to end his inning? Bottom three, two men on, two outs. Chance Bishop swings in the dirt, and that's going to be out number three. Top of the fifth, here we go. Chance Bishop, come on. Let's get, uh, do something. Look at that. Chopper to the chest. Over to second base right there for the easy out. Look at that. You know, have another challenge for some assists right there. I guess they really so think we need to work on our defense, I guess. I don't know. But, bottom six right there. There we go. Going to draw ourselves a walk. That's going to give a man on first base with two outs for Jack Flair to deal with. So run his pitch count up. Why don't we get him over that 80 pitch count mark? Only through six innings so far. But, bottom seven, top seven I should say. It's going to be a chopper in second base right there. We're trying to get all these assists that we're going for everything. Even if on our side, that one was just the second base from this. That was on our side, though, so it's a bit redundant. Top of the eighth, here we go. Two outs, chance. Doesn't try for that one. He knows that one's a no go. But gets the first base in time. Bottom eight, we're tied at two apiece. Grounded to the shortstop. Over to first in time. Big bro, first base right there. Easy snag. Top of the ninth, a 3-2 count, 2, Austin Allen, Austin Allen, going to ground that one, 2 chance, chance going to fire the pitcher, who has to run a lot further than chance Bishop right there does, just so you get that arm strength cap up, so plus 5 to that arm strength. Top 9, we got uh, 2 outs now, man on, but hey, we're down by 1 after the Athletics somehow find a way to score a run, but, ch grounder, chance Bishop, chance. Takes his big body self and steps on first base. Goes back to that guy. That was rain. Game number three of this, I guess, game number two of the series. I'm not sure. Game number something or other of the series. That's going to be a fly out to right field. So challenge failed right there. No challenge for Chance Bishop. AJ Puck on the mound. Chance has some history with AJ Puck. Didn't really fare too well against him in the World Series when he was with the Reds. But hopefully now the Yankees. They, Chance is a little better against AJ. Bottom six, here we go. It's going to be a grounder up the middle. So the base hit against AJ. So that's not the last time. This is not the first time AJ has pitched here in New York. But I don't know. Is that a deep fly ball left field? That's got some distance. And there you go. Fly ball left field home run. I mean, it's probably the first time an AJ has lit up a home run. Nicky Stabbs since AJ Burnett did it with. I don't know, probably the Toronto Blue Jays and the Yankees. Good old A.J. Burnett. Remember A.J. Burnett when he was with the Phillies for that one year? It was absolutely awful. And like, what, 3-12? and 12? I, don't, I don't understand how you have pitchers that are so bad. I think it's more of an, an offensive thing that he's been getting offensive support because he was fine with the Pirates. Good old A.J. Burnett, a lot of not loved here in New York, I'll tell you that. But, top of the ninth, we're down by one run. We have a runner on first base with one out. A chopper to the third baseman. He's going to fire a second over to first base in time. Four. Out number three. Top of the first, game number three this time. So, that was game number two. So, this is game number three. We have a runner on first base. O2 count to Julio Rodriguez. Rodriguez grounds that one to the shortstop, two second basemen, two chance pitchers. Second baseman, a little tumble right there. Okay, bottom first. There we go. Grounder up the middle. I guess past the second base, up the middle. But chance bishop gonna get 
thrown out at first base right there. Tried to go for two. Uh, runner did not lead two, so could not get there. Top of the third, we're up by one run thanks to the chance Bishop single. And that's going to be a chop for the second base. Went over the shortstop, over back to chance. He had to reach for that one a little bit. But that's going to be a double play right there for the New York Yankees. As a poor guy right there has got to run back in the rain. Still raining, Ash Chancer takes on Oscar Collis. That's going to be a called strike three, but Chance is going to beat that one out right there because he's very fast. Bottom five, it's going to be a line drive single to right field. So two men on now with two outs in the bottom of the fifth inning. Bottom seven, we're down by two as Paul Blackburn. going to get a strike out here of Chance. But Paul Blackburn still with the Athletics all these years later. I'd like to get the win, though, to end this episode out. So that's unfortunate to always end the episode off on a loss. It's never fun. Never fun at all. I always, I always prefer to end up series off on a win. You know, especially like in a World Series or a playoff game. How many times have we been doing the playoffs and we've ended up on a loss? I mean, it's not fun. Really is not fun. But it is what it is. We end up losing this game. I mean, big game for Chase Bishop. We had a lot of defensive upgrades. So many upgrades to arm strength. This plan is going to have a super strong arm for first base. And it's going to be crazy how strong his arm is. He goes behind the plate sometime in the future. Just guns runners out from his knees. Doesn't even have to leave his knees anymore. But, you know, Medina with the loss 2 and 2. Hacking your 18th save. But Chance Bishop in the sim after this is going to fracture his hand over at first base. Ends up on the 60 day IL. And you hate to see this. You really do. Chance Bishop more or less going to end up being done for the season. We're going to miss the All-Star game this year. We're, what, July right now? So at most, we're going to come back late September, mid-September. If we come back and maybe the Yankees can hold on to a playoff spot if they're lucky, but probably not. So we're probably going to lose the playoffs because the Yankees offense goes through Chance Bishop right there. And you see right there, starting catcher and starting first baseman are both done for more or less the season. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you just hit that like button. Comment down below. Do you think Chance will be back next episode? Do you think he'll be back to finish off this season? Tyson 2, though. Peace out. Rock on. Stay super classy and have a great day. I guess I don't know.